How come some blind people wear sort of shades and some don't? Some blind people have some changes in the appearance of their eyes. They might go cloudy or, you know, have different bits and bobs going off. Right. Um, like my eyes blink a lot, I don't know if you noticed. Um, you're, that's got you in trouble a little bit, hasn't it? Like what, staring? Yeah. Yeah, the blind, obviously I don't really know where I'm looking a lot of the time, unless I'm talking to someone, I know that I'm talking to you, so I'm trying to look in your direction. Right. Um, I, yeah, I was in a gym. I was I, I've heard this story. Have, have you heard this, Stevie? I think I saw the TikTok. It's so uh, good. Can you share it with us? Yeah, so I, I was doing doing my exercises like a good gym lad. <laughs> and um, yeah, my eyes just, when I'm concentrating, especially they will just fall wherever they want to. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I was just staring straight ahead. And unfortunately, there was a woman doing some exercises. Don't know what she was doing, whether it was like some squats or whatever, where, you know, you might be in a more vulnerable position, maybe. Yeah. Um, you don't want to be stared at. So, yeah, she came over to me um, and I didn't know she was talking to me at first because I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just, you know, mm -hmm. doing my thing. And yeah. she said something along the lines of, why do you keep staring at me? Stop. Like, don't be so creepy. I was like, oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm blind. Had my cane with me. It was folded up on my lap. Yeah. Um, and yeah, she, she didn't. She wasn't having any of it. There's a, there's a culture, isn't there, around, you know, trying to catch out gym creeps, which, I mean, yeah. fair enough. We don't want any creepy behaviour anywhere. But, how, but how, is, how is she not having any of it when you've literally got a cane? Like if you... my disguise, mate, so I can stare at women. I mean, that is... If you're a pervert, right, yeah. that is, you're the most committed pervert in the world. Yeah, literally. <laughs> That's <laughs> wild, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. No, no so I think, I don't know, maybe she just didn't clock it. Maybe she was just really angry or uncomfortable at the time and didn't clock it, didn't believe it, wasn't having it. Yeah. Um, thought it was my water bottle, I don't know. Something like that, <laughs> who knows? Like a, like a frube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like one of them alcoholic sh tube shots you get. Yeah. Like, it's the most inconvenient shaped container for a drink I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so did that, did that, did that escalate? Did yeah, she, she said she'd go and get the manager. I don't think she ended up getting the manager because it was a really, really young girl by the sounds of it. Right. Um, I don't know. Yeah, she, she just, I think she got caught in, backed into a corner a bit by this woman and asked me to leave. I was like, I'm literally blind. And I, I wasn't as confident. They asked you to leave? Yeah, yeah they, they got me out of there. No way. Yeah, yeah. They got me, I, I, I was in a different place. So the gym I go to now, I've got a really good relationship with all the staff. They know me. Everyone in the gym knows me as, you know, he's the guy with a cane, keep out his way. Yeah. Um, but this was a new place I'd never been to. I'd gone with a friend who was doing exercises down the other end of the gym. So I didn't see any of this happening. Um, and yeah, so the this young gym worker, you know, just said, sorry, can you leave? We, we can't have other people being uncomfortable. Oh, my God. Yeah. Did you ever go back there? Uh, no. Oh, no. Good. <laughs> I wouldn't do I wouldn't. I, mm, well, I got loads of comments on this video being like, sue, sue, sue. It's not really a British thing, is it, to sue? It's more of a... No. But I feel like there would be a case there. I've had some lawyers reach out to me as well, being like, really? I represent you. Yeah. Wow. Maybe. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. That's where we at, folks. What do you mean? Yo, we, we, you're making people uncomfortable, so you got to leave. Not you actively making people uncomfortable, but people are uncomfortable around you. Therefore, you have to leave. That's what it is. This feels like an Onion article. It really feels... Blind man gets creeped, gets kicked out of a gym for staring too long. <laughs> that, that, verbatim, that sounds like a, that sounds like an Onion article. No lie. <laughs> Deaf man gets kicked out of a hotel for listening on another couple have sex. Like it feels like it feels like one of them ones. <laughs> Just... The comedy writes itself. I go on the I'd go on the stage. Yeah. I'd go on the stage and I'd be like, "Yo, so <laughs> this guy's in the gym and he's staring at the girl, right? And the girl is like, "Stop staring at me." The guy says he's blind. You guys can count. <laughs> all right, that's all for me, guys. Yeah, that wouldn't work on stage. That would work. But still, it's comedy. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, no, it's wild. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, that, it really happens. It's hard to even get upset because I think it's just one of those things where, you know, the first time I saw the whole gym obsession that women had with, like, exposing creepers who weren't actually even being creepy, I, like, that, I had that energy then. Now I just look at it, I'm like, these crazy bitches. I, I get it. There's dudes who do creep on y'all, and there's some weirdos at the gym. And let's say you really thought that was him. I ain't even mm. mad at you for being like, yo, why are you staring? But when he says he's blind, and he has his cane on his lap, just ask him to confirm it, and then keep it pushing. You're done goofed. You assume something that wasn't happening. Oh, I know what would work. Knock, knock. Who's there? Blind man. Blind man who? Get the fuck out. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs>
apparently it's like and I, and I suspect that she knew he was actually blind she just kept it going because she's too far gone yeah I, mm. it's like when someone says somebody racist and then they come to find out they're wrong they just keep saying it and they want to act incredulous because they they're, they're all amped up on emotions mm, remember right? that girl that that yeah, was accusing this other guy that she he stole her phone yeah and she was looking in her purse. She's like, yeah. no, really looking, looking. And then, and and then, then it's like, no, look looking, over there. And she found the phone in her purse. And then she's like, oh, my God. But it's like. She I, found I, it earlier. Yeah. She found it earlier in the video. Yeah. But because she'd already gone too far, she can't stop She can't there. stop there. Yeah, as a human Until ego. they said, what's your phone number? Let's ring that bitch up. Let's go. You gotta and then that. it rang in her purse. That's. You gotta eat that. You hey, listen. And you know what's crazy is that little bit of humility can create for a really good experience and a, like a good bond with somebody in a weird way. Like you just went through something really weird and you apologize or whatever. You make a human connection in that way, right? And through that misunderstanding, by trying to make restitution and try to understand the person, you really discover like, all right, I have these prejudices. Oh, okay, maybe in the future I make better filters so I don't ever engage in that behavior again. You that but you instead of doing that, we're so pride driven ego. It's like fuck that, fuck him. Even if I'm wrong, you wrong. It's like, that's stupid. You think that that's young girl dumb. did some separate fraction? She got a, not a manager, but she got an employee to kick him out. No, she went the extra mile. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm being generous. I'm, uh, who knows? It, it might not even be that she realized. Maybe she just convinced he was a creep and went all 150. Maybe she's stupid. But yeah. I, that, that's just really dumb to me. Someone pulls out a key. Like, you know when he left, he pulled out his cane and he did it. So you must have thought he was faking that too. And then his friend must have come over and said, no, he's actually blind. Why are you guys kicking out my friend? So, I don't know. It's just really dumb. It's really, really stupid. But, yeah. This is what happens sometimes when you go to a new gym and nobody knows you. Especially if you're a peculiar person or you got whatever going on. Sometimes you get treated that way. That's why a lot of people who have disabilities like their habits in their same spots. Because they know there's a little bit of that comfort of everybody mm-hmm. already knows how to work. So, yeah. All this to say, even blind men aren't safe from being called creepy. Even those I can't see. <laughs> Stop ogling me. Bitch, I ain't got eyes. I can't even. Yeah, but I see you staring at me through your soul. Oh, what the fuck, my, whore? My girl, they're not working. <laughs> you know that the eyes are the, you know, the window to the soul? My shit got shutters. <laughs> Bro, this shit was wild. But anyways, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. We want to hear your take. What do you guys think? Also, y'all might not be blind. But y'all, y'all can, can buy see. This. Y'all can buy these tickets. That's right. We going on tour. We coming to cities near you. We want to see you motherfuckers face to face. Where you at? We going to be doing shows all summer. Well, this summer we're doing three shows. We're doing Detroit, Pittsburgh, and Washington, D.C. But afterwards, we were going to England. We're going to be going all across America, Asia. So if you want to get tickets, make sure you guys go to the website. All right? Put your name so we can email you as soon as those tickets come out for your area. We won't bombard you with nothing else. Okay? I promise. Yeah. Um, yeah. We want to see you guys at the shows. We, meet us. we have meet and greets. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to do live. And so it's going to be a good time. Uh, but we want to see you guys.